North Brand represents the most advanced coating system available today and is a forerunner of a universal coating language towards which we are working. North Brand permits a user to write or prepare programs in a language which is closely related to that of mathematics. This system has been developed by the IBM Research and Applied Programming Group at a cost of $475,000 and represents 29 man years of effort. At the present time, Fortran exists for the 650 and the 704. Under development are programs for the 709 and the 705. Thus, it will be possible for a user to prepare programs for any of the IBM data processing machines without regard to the machine on which the problem is to be solved. And this is an important point. It is now possible for the programmer in a relatively short time as compared to learning the programming language of a particular machine to learn the Fortran language and thus be able to prepare programs for any of our machines. To assist the user in learning the Fortran language, three manuals have been prepared. The first is the programmer's primer manual. This manual presents Fortran in various easy suggestible stages. Second is the programmer's reference manual. The programmer's reference manual is for the person who already understands the Fortran language and wishes to make reference to various uh, statements which exist in the uh, system. The third manual is the for transit manual or the programmer's reference manual for for transit which is a name being given to the 650 Fortran system. To illustrate the use of the Fortran language, I would like to present the following simple problem. The Indians bought Manhattan Island at a cost of $24. Pardon me, the Indians sold Manhattan Island at a cost of $24 to us, 331 years ago. What would be the amount or if a principal had been invested at that time and compounded annually for 3% over this period of 331 years? If we wish to present this problem to a clerk or a desk calculator operator, we would probably present him with a series of statements or instructions for him to follow. Thus, we would have statements. The first of these may be that the principal we wish to start would be $24. To make it more convenient for reference to various statements or instructions, we would probably have statement numbers. Thus, the principal would be statement number one. The rate of 3% would be statement number two. Statement number three, would be the number of years we wish to compute over. These then would be the initial conditions. Following this, we would have the calculations we wish to perform. The first being that the new principal, or the new amount, would be equal to the previous principal amount plus the previous principal times the interest rate. And then this quantity would replace the old principle to form the new principle, which would be used in succeeding calculations. And this we would call our statement number four. Next thing we would tell the, or instruct would be that you must count the number of years over which we wish to perform this calculation. That n, the old value of n, we would subtract one from it and replace this quantity to get a new value of n. And then we would repeat these calculations or do statements four and five until n has been reduced to zero. Once n has been reduced to zero, we have obtained the answer we wish, so we will stop. This then would be the series of instructions which would be necessary to provide to a clerk or desk calculator operator to compute our problem. A few slight changes can be made to this problem as it now exists and convert it to a Fortran program. 
first uh, is that we will remove our instructions to repeat. and replace it with a similar instruction or statement in the Fortran language, which is do statement number four, that is this statement here, for all values of i beginning with one up to and including the value n. n we said being 331. Another slight change would be necessary in the writing of the instruction or the computation we wish to perform. This would be written as follows. Take the principle, multiply it times the rate, where, as, where the asterisk symbol represents multiplication, add it to the principle, and replace this computed quantity back in the location or the area specified for the principle. Since the number of years over which we wish to compute this is being controlled by the do instruction or statement, it is no longer necessary to have a counter for the number of years. Thus, with a slight modification, we have converted the program or our instructions to the clerk or desk calculator operator to a Fortran problem. And as you can see, the language in which we state this problem is very closely related to that of the mathematics. Now, one may ask, all right, this is fine for the initial problem which we uh, set up. However, can we extend this to handle any value of P, R, N? The answer to this is certainly. First thing we might do is say, all right, we're going to have a deck of cards. Each card containing a value over the principal, the rate, and the number of years over which we wish to compute the compound interest. The principal being in columns one through four, the rate in five through six, and n, the number of years, in columns seven, eight, and nine. Provided that we have this input, or one card giving us the value p, r, and n, we would like to have a listing or a printout of this information for each new card coming in. A format for printout may be as follows. But the calculated principal amount would be in the first 11 columns on the output. The original principal, the interest rate, and the number of years over which we performed the calculation being specified as follows. Now, Fortran provides three types of input and output conversion. First of these are floating point internally, fixed point externally. The second, floating point both internally and externally. And the third, integer, both internally and externally. In the Fortran language, we would specify that floating point, the fixed point, or fixed point to floating point, would be specified by the letter F. The value W represents the, the total width of our field, such as in our card format here, the principal being four columns wide, one, two, three, and four, the letter W would specify four. The letter D, the number of decimal places which exist in this quantity. For the value of P, this would be two decimal places. Therefore, the letter two would appear here. In a similar fashion, we may specify floating point for floating point conversion, where E, the amount of preparation needed to write a program for any of the IBM data processing machines. 